Madam Marta Andreasen, Freedom and Democracy. Thank you, President. This House will yet again be accused of being out of touch with reality if it votes for a budget increase for the period 2014 and 2020. The reason given for this increase is the funding of the 2020 strategy, the one, it is said, will take us out of the crisis. Let us recall what happened with the Lisbon strategy. It was an epic failure. Taxpayers' money was wasted, and we should not repeat this mistake. The European Court of Auditors report a significant percentage of irregularities affecting different areas of policies, averaging 2.8% of the budget year after year, and we continue to flow funds to these regions. Projects have seen costs grow by up to three times original estimates. Others suffer delays while being superseded by better technology. Such is the case of Galileo that has gone from 7.7 .7 billion euro budget to 22.6 billion euro budget. More than 40% of the budget continues to be invested in the common agricultural policy, while only 4.7% of the workforce in Europe is engaged in it. The common fisheries policy deemed a failure by Commissioner Dananaki requires taxpayers to send 1 billion euro to Brussels every year. The European External Action Service costs an extra 500 million each year and has not yet demonstrated its raison d'etre. All these examples should certainly justify no budget increase, but a budget reduction. I would like to think that the UK government will take a stand, say enough is enough, and call for a reduction. However, it seems its coalition MEPs here favour a freeze. Taxpayers in the UK won't be thanking them. Thank you.